Okay, hi, it's Cameron here from Crookshot Films. Today I'm going to give you a really fast tutorial on muzzle flashes. So basically I've got this clip. This was a clip that I didn't end up using in my Angry Birds video. Um, so I don't have any, like, back pull or anything when I fire, because it's just shooting down an Angry Bird. You can see when I pull the trigger quite obviously. And that's when it has to fire, so I've got to import my muzzle flash. This is a pre-keyed muzzle flash that I got offline, but I'll probably make a few more before I upload this. You can find this muzzle flash and probably a few more that I've made up on my website. They'll be in a zip file, just unzip that and you have this and yeah, you can add that into your videos. So I'm going to pull this down now, put it over my clip with, just where it's meant to start. So in my case when I pull the trigger. Okay. And now we'll go ahead three frames. Click this. Oh, actually, I'll do it this way. Yeah, no. I'll click the split tool. And it splits it in between, so I'll delete the access one by clicking delete on my keyboard. And now I've got this part. And this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I might make it three frames. There we go. All you have to do for this part is resize that by clicking this down arrow and go and transform and resize it to the end of your gun. I reckon that looks pretty good. I've already got heaps of light on there so I won't need to worry about light off me, but in that case you just kind of make a thing around it. Won't worry about that. Okay. So minimize that. Okay, so that's already looking pretty cool. Might make it fade out there. This goes. Okay, so now I need to right click on this, go insert video track, and it should have a track straight over this clip. Um, and in that, you'll need to get another thing that will be in this muzzle flash stuff folder that I've uploaded. Um, which is called smoke puff footage, puff stock footage. You have to import that and drag that underneath your clip to where your clip starts. Delete the audio track because that's just some music or something. I got this off YouTube, so yeah, it has music properties. No, oh, wait, now you click on the thing, then go properties, and then go effects, add effect, chroma key, custom, add. Select the black colour by clicking this eyedropper thing at the side here. Click like that. I'll show you the eyedropper thing. This eyedropper thing, click that and drag it to the black colour. I reckon that's pretty good key because you don't want the key. You don't want it like that because then it just looks so fake. Doesn't not that much smoke comes out of a gun. So maybe if you have it at something like that and then go into the opacity and turn it down. Down here. Not too low, otherwise you won't actually be able to see it at all. So go to the transform properties, turn it around, go over here, and adjust it to the clip. Okay, you need to make it so that the smoke ends at the end of this clip. Then you've got to make it kind of sink down at the frame. So it'll start off here and then it'll go down here. Okay, so you need to click the down arrow on that smoke puff footage. Go transform. And add a keyframe at the end here. Okay, so I'll zoom out a wee bit just to show you what we're working with. Um, actually, that's good. Uh, I should have downsized that way a second. Should it be smaller? I think I'll make it a wee bit smaller. Because not that much smoke will come out both. Then go into the last keyframe and drag this down a bit. So it goes poof. There's only one more thing we need to do, and that's add a bit of shine off this muzzle flash to make it.
give off more of a realistic thing. So I will click that arrow, or uh, right click on this track, go uh, insert video track, make this smaller, and then go to media, library, samples, quick shapes, and drag into the, cir the circle in. Okay, so I'll drag that to the length of that, maybe a bit longer, and fade it out here. Um, click on the circle shape again, go to properties, effect, oh, property, yeah, effects, add effect, gushing blur, heavy blur, drag this right to the end. Okay, by clicking that arrow and dragging it, okay. Now if I zoom in again so this arrow pops up, I will click that to go transform. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and drag that to my thing. Might turn the opacity down a little bit. Oops, it doesn't go with my gun. Cause it's yeah, no, it's got a bit of glow! So it looks a lot brighter and stuff. Looks a lot more realistic. So I drag that closer again. There you go. Boom. Poof. Okay, so that's my muzzle flash. My, you can make this more transparent or something because it doesn't quite look right. Go and tell like that. You can make a fade out as it goes down. Like this. Maybe even from here. Oops, I'll go back to here so you can see it. Boom. Boom. Okay, so that was my video. Be sure to subscribe, comment, rate. Um, and when I say rate, I mean like, because liking to say do it. So do that. Do that. Yeah. So. You can also download these from um, my website, so go to that. Link will be in the description. Um, yeah, so go to that link, download it, and it should be the top one at the moment, unless you're going from watching this ages away from when I record it. Um, okay, so thank you for watching. <laughs> yep, yeah, all the stuff I told you to do before. Um, yeah, okay. Bye.